Good morning. Good morning. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let me just give you a message from the heart. When you look at the whole things, Christianity has become just a surface. Human wisdom. Christianity seems to be human wisdom. There's no difference any longer between Christianity and religion. So even when you listen to the news or whatever, the comment, they classified them as religion. Christianity is not a religion. Jesus came to restore the relationship and fellowship between God and man. He came to restore this relationship. Christianity lies in the heart. It's all about the word of God in our heart. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Look, but today, Christianity has turned to the word of God in our mouth. People believe just confess I'm a Christian. Simple. Your neighborhood knows you are coming to the church. And consequently, that you are a Christian, you are a believer. Are you searching heart? That is the question you need to ask. Because you carry Bible, you carry cross, you bear Joshua, you bear Timothy, you bear Deborah. Are you searching hearts? If you are searching hearts, that is work of faith. The Bible is talking about. Amen. Are you searching hearts? In the name of Jesus, are you searching hearts? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Are you searching hearts? That is what Christianity is all about. That is what Jesus is interested in. That is what pleases Jesus. You are in this church. Are you searching heart? Are you telling me your spirit is inside the church? Let's quickly look at the book of Colossians, chapter 3. Living as those made alive in Christ, since then you have been raised with Christ, set your heart on things above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly. Take note of that. Not on what? Not on earthly. Let me take you to verse 23. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. Take note of that. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. As working for the Lord, not for human master. As working for the Lord, not for human master, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord. As what? As a reward. You take your time to read that Colossian book and the first Chronicle 28, verse 9. And James 4, verse 3. And the book of Luke 16, verse 15. Where you get home. Here you are. In the church. Are you searching hearts? Because Christianity lies in the heart. 
Jesus looks at our motive behind our action. Jesus look at our world. Motive behind what? But men look at action. You are sitting down. You are laughing. That is all one man can say. But Jesus look at motive behind your seat. I mean, Jesus looks at why you do what you do. He look why. But men look at what you do. TV Joshua. But the motive behind it, that is what Christianity is all about. You believe God, it will rain. And you go ahead and plant crops. That is what Christianity is all about. That is what Christianity is all about. I believe it will rain. And I go ahead and plant crops without waiting for the rain. People see you as Christian because you are called Joshua. You are called Timothy. You are called Deborah. You are called Esther. And you go to church as a pastor, as a Christian, as a bishop, as a prophet. And you have sound knowledge of the scripture. But don't forget, a man may be a Christian, but not such in heart. A man may have a sound knowledge of the Bible, and not such in heart. In that first Chronicle 28, verse 9, the Lord searches all hearts and understands all the intent of the thoughts. If you are not searching heart, how do you speak to God? How will God speak to you? Because the Bible says the word of God in our heart is our contact with God. Let someone say, the word of God in our heart is our contact with God. It is his contact with us too. You want to speak to me? The word of God in my heart will contact. I want to speak to him, the word of God in my heart. How do you speak to God when you are not searching hard? You have been dancing since morning. Are you searching hard? Whatever your heart engage on influences your conduct and your character. Whatever your heart engage on influences your conduct and your character. If your heart does not contact the word of God, nothing can be achieved. Nothing and nothing can be achieved in God if your heart does not. You can be seen as a Christian because you are often seen with the Bible. The cross. But God does not see you as such because of the motive behind your being Christian. The new year is about. You cannot continue this way. Because if you continue this way, 
without God's word in your heart, people see you as a Christian, whereas you cannot contact God and God cannot contact you. What kind of Christian is this? You cannot contact God and God cannot contact you. The only means, the only grace to contact you is that word in your heart. But where is that word in your heart? The next year, It's not going to be this year. In attitude, in character, in challenging, in trial, in condition. Tell your neighbor, man has the power to testify, to witness about Christ. A man can say, oh, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Redeemer, Jesus is Healer, Jesus is He. Whosoever believes in Him shall not perish. To have everlasting life, man has that power. But the Holy Spirit testifies, witnesses. Knowing fact about Jesus does not change our relationship with Him. Knowing fact about Jesus does not change our relationship with Him. So, Read your Bible with devotion. Discover what God has to say to you each day. Discover what God has to say to you each day. Tell your neighbor, no fact about Jesus does not change our relationship with him. Again? So, read your Bible with devotion. When you see someone who is doing good, very nice, don't be in haste to see him as good. Because you don't know his motive. This is what they have been using to deceive you, you politician, all over the world. And they care, I will do this, I will do that, I will do this. They give you money, they give you food, they give you everything, they do the campaign, they do, they do, they do. But when they get to the position, they change. Hey, I will do this, I will do this. You follow them, you rally, you follow them. Hey, 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 hey. You will build the school, you will do this, you will train, you will, train. You will improve the school, you will improve the improve economy all over the world. You see, hey, hey, it's good to do this. Food, bring money out to the city, share money, give everyone, but you follow. By the time they get there, story change. When you see someone, who is doing good and loving, don't be in haste because you don't know his motive. When you see someone who is preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, claiming to witness for Christ, Let us take our time before call him pastor or Christian because you don't know his motive. Jesus' focus is the motive behind what we do, what you do, and why you do it. That is his focus. His focus is what? Motive behind what? What we do, why we do, what you say, why you say. That is his focus. So many of us have been deceived when it comes to relationship because a man is very nice, a woman is nice, care and loving. He says, oh, you're forgetting. You, hey, this is nice person. But 
as time goes on, stories change. Man has the power to decide. You can decide to just walk out of this place. The Spirit of God will not grab you and say, no, don't go, don't go. You can decide, no, as we are talking, say, no, 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 what this man is saying, I can't, I can't be, I can't stand it, and walk out. And the Spirit of God, Jesus will not say, no, come back, come back, he will leave you to go. That's discretion given to everyone. That is why Jesus asked the man at the pool of Bethesda. He said to him, what will I do for you? What do you want me to do? He said, no, I have been here for many years. No one to carry me to the pool. What do you want me to do now? If the man said, no, 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 don't talk to me. Walk go your way. Jesus will, mm, he will leave him. That is discretion. The man said, please help me. Man has the power to decide. You can decide to pray, which many of us have been doing. Just when you have problems, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You can decide to pray. Early morning is your, it's a normal routine. You wake up in the morning, early morning. You say, oh, children, let us pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of, you are the one praying. Jesus does not know. Exercising the way through the mind, exercising the will, the will through mind. But Holy Spirit has the power of choice. Jesus tests our heart to reward us. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Mm, all this gara 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 running at a skater. I'm a pastor. I'm a the Christian. I'm this. Carry ring. Carry this. Hey, 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 hey. All this appearance. All this shouting. Hey, hey, pray, fasting. Hey, my, my God. Go to the mountain. Hey, hey. They say, oh, this man is a prayer warrior. Is this that? Jesus tests our heart to reward us. The question remains, are you such in heart? What is your motive? Jesus tests our heart to give us according to our effort. Tell your neighbor, Jesus tests our heart to give us according to our effort. I can hear you. What is the state of your heart? Your heart must be at its best because the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Father, expresses himself through your heart. The Spirit of God expresses himself through your heart. Now this, in the name of Jesus, are you searching heart? Amen. Are you searching heart? Let us pray. Are you searching heart? Are you searching heart? This is why it's only difficult to go through trial. No one can go through trial without the word in the heart. No one can say Jesus is law without the word in the heart. Tell your neighbor. So where are we going? And I'm very, very sure. That is why I'm saying this. A lot of percentage in our mission are not searching hearts. That is why I'm bitter for you to go New Year with trial I'm seeing, with tribulation I'm seeing, with situation that is coming. Hmm. You need the word of God in your heart.
to contact Jesus. Tell your neighbor, I need the word in my heart to contact who? It is the word Jesus also used to contact you. The word in your heart. The word in your heart. But I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking around. If you are my neighbor, I will know. If you share the same inheritance, I will know. If you are my family, I will know. I can see. This is just celebration. Percentage of us here. For how long shall we continue this? Trial, persecution, tribulation. No one can say Jesus is Lord genuinely without the word in the heart. Genuinely. Anybody can say Jesus is Lord. You don't need last says for that. But genuinely? Genuinely. So rise up and let us pray. I say to your heart, awake yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is at the door of your heart. Yeah. Say, my heart, my heart. awake. Despierta. The Holy Spirit is at the door of my heart. Awake. Yes, yes, the Holy Spirit is there knocking. Say, awake, awake, awake. That is open the door. The Holy Spirit is at the door of your heart right now. I say to your heart, awake. In Jesus' name. Committing the word of God to memory is valuable, but does not bring Jesus to the scene. Tell your neighbor, committing the word of God to memory is valuable, but does not bring Jesus to the scene. Learning the history of the book of the Bible is valuable. You learn, you can be a lecturer, you can teach, you can get your daily bread, you get your money, it's valuable, but does not bring Jesus to the sin. Say, in the name of Jesus, where is Jesus? Because the way is not from your heart. My heart, hear the voice of God. My heart. Hear the voice of God, my heart. Hear the voice of Holy Spirit, my heart. Hear the voice of God, my heart. Hear the voice of Holy, say my heart, my heart. The voice of God, my heart. Hear the voice of Holy Spirit, my heart, my heart. Hear, hear the
the voice of God. My heart, my heart, hear the voice of Holy Spirit. Let there be free. When you pray, you do not receive. When you ask, you do not receive because you pray, you ask with wrong motive. That is why you don't receive. I'm not surprised. I know many of you just, let's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a normal life. We have to pray in the morning, pray in the afternoon, pray in the evening. You just pray, not that... You pray, you do not receive. You ask, you do not receive. Because you ask with wrong motive. Wrong motive could be, there's no word in your heart. And the word in our heart make us Christian. The word of God in our heart make us Christian. The word of God in our heart is our contact with Jesus. It is his contact with us. So, now you need this word. Now you are about to enter the new year. By the time you leave here, you, you know the next thing to do is not to go to the party. You have to work on your spiritual life. Because you can see reason now. For someone to be saying he's a Christian, Whereas Jesus himself does not know. It's not in the record that you are a Christian, you are a religious person. Nothing makes us a Christian, the word in our hearts. The word in our heart is our contact. Hello. And the Lord will say, Hi, what do you want? The word in your heart. The word in your heart. That is why you must have freedom. A free heart. A heart without a crutch. We have damaged our heart. Not seeing a grudge. Not say bad feeling towards others. Damage our hearts. Tell your neighbor, not seeing a grudge, not seeing pain of the past, not seeing bitterness, not seeing envy, not seeing jealousy, not seeing bad feeling towards others. Damage our hearts. And the same heart is a contact point. The Bible says the spirit of Father expresses himself through our hearts. And the heart we are talking about is damage. You have to begin to repair your heart. The spirit of Father expresses himself through our heart, and the same heart is damaged. Not see pain of the past, not see grudge, not see bad feeling towards others. You say, no, I don't know, I will not agree, I will not agree. Not see unforgiving spirits, damaged hearts. So you can see now. So you have to work now. You have a lot of work to do, because I don't want you to enter a new year with all this. And you continue to say it's a wishes and wizard, wishes and wizard, wishes and wizard, 
your partner is the one that attacking you. Nobody attack you. You are the one that made your heart. There is no landing for God. There is no point for God to talk to you. There must be point. Hello? Hello? Through what? Hearts. The word in the heart is our contact with God. It is his contact with us. But heart is damaged. Tell your neighbor, forgive them. Forgive. Tell your neighbor, forgive them. Forgive. I'm not saying forgive him. I said forgive them. Forgive. Say forgive them. Forgive. That's all. And move forward. Pardonnez aux autres et avancez de l'avant. Que la sous vecino perdonnez-les et siga adelante. So let us pray for our nation, your country, your continent, your flag, you have any contact. Raise it already, so ask God to redeem your nation, your leaders, in the name of Jesus Christ. I can hear you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ahora mismo levante una oración por sus líderes y su nación. Open your lips. Ask God to redeem your country. Redeem your nation. Your leaders. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. I can hear you. Right now, commit your journey of righteousness. Ask God to continue to strengthen you because when you live here, you continue the journey of righteousness. With the message you have received today, journey of righteousness, journey of uprightness, journey, journey, journey of holiness. Ask God to strengthen you. Ask God to strengthen you. Ask God to strengthen you. In your journey of righteousness, uprightness, holiness, faithfulness, obedience, humility, love. à Dieu de vous fortifier dans votre parcours de justice, de fidélité, de sainteté, d'obéissance et d'amour. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Don't forget, Christianity lies in the heart. Whatever you do, whatever you say, you must search in heart. I pray the Lord give you obedient heart. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Señor, te dé un corazón que escuche en el nombre de Jesús.